Hey, it's Aran here. In this tech tutorial on System.io, I'm gonna show you how to set up the GDPR compliant opt-in page, where you basically have people check before they subscribe, so they give you their permission to be on your email list. Now, just to be clear, I'm not an advisor on GDPR or anything like that. This is purely a tutorial I'm recording because a client asked me how to have a checkbox where somebody has to tick before opting in and submitting their name and email. So you need to be sure, consult with a lawyer or do whatever you need to do on research. This is not my advice. I'm just showing you feature-wise on System.io how to set it up. So with that said, let's have a look now. So I'm gonna click here on create and I'm gonna click on build audience and I'm gonna call this GDPR compliant compliance checkbox, basically, okay? Click on create. Now, just to give you the inspiration for what my client sent me as a funnel or a landing page, so you can see right here that this lady has this thing right here, I would like to receive future emails, and I agree to GDPR terms and conditions, basically. So we're gonna follow that, basically. Now, obviously, if I click on it, I have to check it. So let's just find a funnel. Doesn't really matter which one we're gonna pick. So I'm just gonna pick this one for the sake of demonstration. If you don't like this particular funnel, you can always click here and change the template as well. So you could just click on it. You need to confirm if you wanna change the template and then you can pick a different template. So just for uh, sake of demonstration, we're just going to stick with that one. Actually, we'll go with this one. So it's a little bit more similar to what she has. So let's click here, select. And now we're gonna click on the edit page to actually go to the builder itself. This is called the editor page. Now, I'm gonna just make my face a little bit smaller. Now, you'll notice now that I've got the different options like this, and you'll notice that the name here is called form input and first name, form input email. So form input is basically a type of element in System.io, which you can find it right here. Now, form input, if I was to paste it in right under it as an example, you will notice that it says warning, input type not set. Now when I click on it, you will notice now on the left that I can choose different types of form input. So if I wanna collect their tax number, their last name, their street address, their zip code, any of these details, I can do that. This is not where you do the checkbox, but I just want you to understand how that works. Now, what we are gonna do is on the form section, you see there is a button, which is obviously this one, and then there is a checkbox, which is this one. So now we're gonna put the checkbox right here. And now you're gonna click on the checkbox. And if it doesn't click, sometimes you need to just go here and click on the settings or the gear button. And now you will see this. Now, this is the message that if the person fails to tick it, that it will say, hey, don't forget to tick it. So for example, you would say, um, please tick this checkbox to proceed or to submit, right? Now we're going to now scroll down and, and see what else we have here. So now on the text, we can actually change the text right here. Now the text of this, we can change the color right here, I believe. There you go. So highlight it and then text color and there you go. And now we're going to now grab her text. So I would like to receive future emails with tips and promotions. I would like to receive emails with future tips and promotions. Okay. That's one. Now, once we've got that and we're happy with how it looks, what I would suggest is you simply check it again, I agree to the GDPR terms and conditions. So you're going to hover over it and then you're going to click here on this button right here, which is the copy button or duplicate. You're gonna do it again. And then we're going to paste in, I agree to, G, to the GDPR terms and conditions. Now, with regards to doing something like what this person has with this I button, I do not see a way where that can be done 
What you can do instead as a workaround is you can actually highlight this right here and then click on link and then you will paste in the URL. So let's just pretend I'm just gonna go to arambukai.com forward slash, I think privacy or terms and conditions. Terms, I'm not sure if this is the right one, but let me just check. Okay, so here is a cookie policy. Let's just say I'm just gonna pick that as, for the sake of demonstration. And then you're going to basically highlight it and then paste in the URL right here. Now, what you want to do, you wanna click on this button right here, which means it will open in a new tab. That's very important because if somebody wants to read your terms and conditions before checking it, if you don't click on this, what will happen is your current landing page is going to be replaced, which is not what you want. So you have to make sure you tick this thing right here. Now you will notice that this is all good the way you want it. Now, what I suggest also on this is you can actually click here on settings and you can change the color of links. So you can change the color of links to make it, let's say yellow, and then you'll see this is gonna be yellow. Just It's just going to align better with this particular page. So. Um, obviously, if the background is not going to be dark, then you can have a different color, that's okay, but that's just something you can customize. Now, I'm going to click on save, and then I'm going to click on preview. Now, when I click on preview, I'm going to basically do a little test. Actually, before I do that, one more thing I need to check. Click on the button, and then you see here the action when bundle is clicked. You wanna always make sure that it says send form. Send form means that they submitted these details before going to whatever it is you want them to do, which is in this case, the next step, okay? Now, looks like I did it all correctly, so I'm going to just set up this test, and I'm not going to check the GDPR. I'm gonna click on download, and you'll notice it says here, please tick this checkbox to submit. Now, you will notice that it says this twice, right? Mm -hmm. So what that means is that basically it created this thing because there's two different checkboxes. So what you can do is you can go here and on this one, you need to t tick, please um, tick to confirm you want to receive emails, right? And we're gonna change that. And now we're gonna go here and we're gonna change this wording. Please tick this checkbox to confirm you agree to the terms and conditions, let's just say, right? Whatever the information is. Now we're gonna click on save changes. Now I'm gonna click on the preview again, and now I'm gonna do another test, and then check the details here. I'm gonna click on download, and now you will see the text here is going to align with what I said. Now let's just say I'm going to check the GDPR, but I'm not going to check this. I'm gonna click on download, and you're gonna see it's still going to say, please tick to confirm you received emails. So you see the one that I didn't tick still gave me the error message, basically, okay? Now I don't know a way to customize the, how the look and feel of this, so you have to just test it to make sure that the colors all make sense. Now, once I check this, only then I can click on download and it will actually work. So it will take me to the next page. Now in this case, I actually don't have a next page set up, so it's not gonna work, but you get the idea. Then the next page will be set up uh, on the funnel if I have the funnel set up. But the process is exactly the same. So there you go, that's how you set up the GDPR compliance with regards to your forms on system IO. Hope you got value from this video. If you have any questions about how to set this up or anything along these lines, leave a comment below. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, thanks a lot to my tech support member who, uh, I've got a tech support membership called Dotcom Truths. And this question came from one of my members. It's a great question. And uh, hopefully this will help other people who are in the EU or UK and are facing this similar issue or have clients in those areas and need to have it set up as well. Uh, if you want to learn more a lot about me and my services, I'll leave all the details below in the description for uh, any other tutorials on system IO or free resources and things along these lines. So just check the description. Thanks a lot, and I'll speak to you soon.